We just finished all of our holiday orders for the 2022 season. And the place is an absolute disaster. Just trash everywhere. It's been one year since we left our tiny garage and our little rent house, and we moved into this wonderful warehouse shop. Need a truck! Great job! Getting in this warehouse was a huge and kind of expensive leap of faith in ourselves, in our business, in what we feel like we were called to do. And it's been full of blessings and challenges in the last year. We grew a lot, both professionally and personally. So at the end of this year, we wanted to make a video all about 2022 and what we learned. Because that's really the whole point of this channel, is sharing with you guys, our friends, the stories from our adventures. It all started a year ago. <laughs> We moved into this beautiful, wonderful 4,200 square foot workshop, and it has been so But we really had no idea what to do with all of this space. We were so used to tripping over each other and uh, just rearranging, playing Tetris in the garage uh, of our tiny little rent house that we didn't know what to do with all of this space. But with this big shop and seemingly unlimited amounts of opportunity, we decided that 2022 was gonna be about selling enough cutting boards until we could design and launch our first line of kitchen tables. In February, we built and sold a prototype table that we were gonna base the design off of, and you guys saw that, right? Remember when we got the really bad white oak? Whew, man, it's not even hot and I'm already sweating. Um, I forgot my belt today too, so my pants are falling down. <laughs> you look like a like a kindergartner, like walking around, pulling their pants up every five seconds or something. Anyway, got all this white oak milled up. Some of these boards have splits all the way through. These are on both sides. This is the underside of the board I just showed you. But after we finished that job, we realized that we had totally underestimated how big the cutting board market was. We were blown away with the demand for, for cutting boards. Every time Jenny went to one of her networking events, she would describe what she did, she described the cutting boards, and then she talked about how we want to do kitchen tables in the future. But no, nobody wanted to listen to her about kitchen tables. They were so excited to hear about these little cutting boards that we engrave and personalize as gifts. Don't be so sure of what you want that you refuse something better. We were so focused on trying to launch kitchen tables that we almost passed up the opportunity in front of us to build a massive business with cutting boards and charcuterie boards. This is a business. It really doesn't matter what we sell as long as it's made of wood and people come together around it. That's what we're going to make. And the cutting boards were easier to sell, easier to produce, and easier to ship. Kitchen tables would just be a distraction from this business that was already making money. So why change it up if it's already working? So we reprioritized, adjusted, and decided that for the rest of 2022, we were gonna see just how far we could push this little boring cutting board business. No more tables until the cutting board business ran itself without Jenny and I's input. This started the most difficult chapter of our year. A huge roadblock for us this year was hiring employees. And we had a lot to learn about hiring people. 
our military leadership skills didn't really translate very well to the civilian job market, where you have to take care of people and make a profit. We learned a lot about what a good hire looks like, what motivates people, and what kind of job they're looking for. We hired about a half a dozen people this summer, and we took so many lessons away from that experience. Each person taught us something new and helped us improve our business in some way. But we lost a lot of money in the process. This was hard for us to show on YouTube because while we wanted to keep you guys, our friends, included in what was going on, a lot of the lessons came in moments when we couldn't have a camera. But after this experience, we feel like we got a college degree in hiring people in just a three month span. It was so, so worth it. But Caitlin and Caleb are still here on the YouTube side of the house and they have been wonderful. We started handing over responsibilities to them on the YouTube side of the house and that has just freed us up to do so much more. So Caleb and Caitlin are happy and alive and thriving and doing much better now that they uh, get to see outside all day. But all the time it freed up was not spent relaxing. It was spent uh, going and doing hurricane hunting. Jenny and I are scientists in the Air Force Reserves with the Hurricane Hunters, and we fly through hurricanes to help people evacuate ahead of tropical weather. Miami Beach, baby. Yeah, I know, we're trying to run a business and crush the 2022 holiday season, but you know, giving back is important to us. It's super important to us that we use our talents and abilities to give back. I'm in Miami because that's where the National Hurricane Center is. And if you've been a longtime subscriber of our channel, you'll know that Jenny and I have a part-time job where we fly through hurricanes for research. So I need to get back to Mississippi and fly this storm. So after our shifts for hurricane season, we had a decision to make. Do we continue losing money and learning about employees or do we make money during the holiday rush? We chose to make money. At the end of the day, this is a business and it needs to make a profit. So after months of learning and failing when it came to hiring employees, we decided to shift and start making money during the holiday season and holiday orders were pretty slow coming at first. And that's partly our fault because we decided to give up on our best customer base that we had to date, which was realtors. We have an exciting announcement. We are officially quitting the realtor game. That's right, you guys. The internet's favorite couple making boards and selling to real estate agents is officially retiring from selling to real estate agents. And it's not because of what you might think. To hire people, we need more money from bigger clients. And realtors just weren't buying enough boards at one time. So the beginning of the 2022 holiday season looked a little bleak. So with a lot of motivation and absolutely no leads, I just started cold calling some of these oil companies. Every time we drove past a skyscraper while going through downtown, I'd take a picture of their logo with my phone and call them on Monday. And then one day, I actually got a call back from one of the oil and gas companies that I had reached out to, and they ended up placing the largest order we've ever gotten. No hesitation, no late payments, no debating on bringing the price down. What was that? That was a confetti popper. 
<laughs> Why did you do that? Because I made a $15,000 sale. That was like a week ago. Duh, when I did pop a confetti popper, I had to pop one. She got you in on this too. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Just like that, our season changed. We were flooded with holiday orders from new clients, from old clients who wanted to send out even more boards. It had completely done a 180. And we had to work around the clock for two months straight to take in and build and fulfill all of these holiday orders. It's day 11, making and shipping boards. I don't know how much longer I can do this. We finished the year with $103,000 in sales, which is more than double what I did last year. And I am so thankful for that. We learned so much and I know I can do way better next year. And after all is said and done, we are still profitable despite all the new tools, the employees we had to pay, the additional insurance we had to buy, and the big fancy warehouse. We were still able to be profitable this year, which is really exciting. This year was so much better than we imagined it would be, but it was also way different than we thought. And through it all, we learned the importance of having joy and faithfulness, no matter what the circumstances. Thank you so much for coming along with us in 2022, and we can't wait to show you what's next. Our goals have only gotten bigger. Everything you've seen us do up to this point is just practice. And we're done playing around. We've learned enough. It's time to leave the practice field and start playing in the big leagues. It's time for Samara Table Company to become a real business. Pickles. Yes, pickles. If you enjoyed this video, we've put every video from the 2022 holiday season into a single playlist for you to watch so you can see everything from the very beginning. You won't miss a single thing. You can watch that by clicking right here. Thank you so much for watching.